Yes, yes, yo. It's Kurt here. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic, but welcome back to the channel. Join me today at Alton Park. I've only been here once before when I was a, uh, a young kid. I can't remember anything about the place. I've just parked up. Uh, you can hear the time attack behind me going on at the moment. I've not got a clue where anything is at the moment. I can see uh, a load of people in the distance, so I'm guessing that's where sort of the main show is and stuff like that. Obviously, you can hear the track behind me. Uh, so yeah. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do today, whether it's just going to be a bit of a walk around video or whether I'll do some cinematics or just some track footage, I, I don't know yet, but but yeah. Welcome to Alton Park. And then just, just walking through the car park. A really nice Evo. And then sitting next to it, we've got a JDM EP3. Always nice to see. And down here, I know I'm... Uh, more, more so a Japanese channel but that, that's pretty that's sitting nice that is really nice Evo next to it again not too sure if this is like an Evo Evo 6 Evo 5 or Evo 6 my brother used to have an Evo 6 really nice E92 I spotted this GT86 from a little way off so I came over to have a look at it real nice that's the thing you come to some of these shows and the car parks car parks are just as good as a show sometimes let's, uh, let's go and have a mooch into the show so you can sort of see this is just the car park at the minute and then you can sort of see in the distance where all the banners are and all the stuff over here through here this is where the show show is going to be, I think. And I keep trying to get into the show, but I keep keep I keep getting distracted. Not not seen one of these in absolutely years. I think it's a Mark One Astra, I think. Mark One Astra G G G T E. Nice. And then down here, got a nice looking EP3 pre preface EP3. And that's funny that I choose the EP3 over what's sitting next to it. <laughs> Obviously, we've got to show you this. Obviously, it's a McLaren. Not too sure on, on what model. Not sure if this is like one of those. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend like I know. Not got a clue. Real nice brakes on it. Carbon ceramics. Yeah, of course, it's not going not to have a badge on, but I think it's one of those 760 or whatever it is not, 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 not too sure nice 205 here really nice looking 205 my mate Adam who's helping with the uh, the case swap he used to have a really really nice 205 real nice 205 right let's try and get in there so we're, in the, we're in the paddock now and this is the uh, TCR paddock so I've just been chatting to this team here hopefully I'm going to uh, get a ni ni nice video of this coming out but yeah the TCR cars are just next level obviously just pure touring cars that's, that is what T TCR is but uh, yeah it's, it's, it's great to be able to come, to come to an event and see Time Attack, Drifting, TCR, Civic Cup and be able to walk through all the pits as well uh, it's cool to be able to see all the car cars being worked on get to meet the drivers it's uh, yeah it's really really cool and then obviously over here we've got jams jams jam jam sport racing they've got a little uh, hos hospitality area it's pretty cool and then obviously you can see them all being worked on in here and the smell of fuel around these garages it's not like no uh, not like your standard Tesco, that's, uh, that's for sure. It's uh, yeah, some real nice, real nice smelling fuel. But yeah, it's cool to, uh, like I say, be in the pits of all the drivers, get to see all the cars up and close. And then on the other side, this is the main pit and paddock. This is uh, all of the main sort of time attack cars and everything like that. This is uh, the Gizfab Micra. It's supercharged and turbocharged, I believe. 
loads of carbon on the front end. Real cool looking car. And then a new one that I've not seen, I've not seen at any of these events, is this EK Civic here, which is real, real nice. So I'm not too sure what's in this. But this is real nice. Really nice. Not too sure what's in it. I imagine a K series. I'm going to just leave the uh, the exposure on auto, just because I keep going inside. But we've got the uh, this big old Clio that's been in a couple of events now. Sounds absolutely incredible. Goes really well. Got that tar that Tarox Mini, which I've seen in a couple of events events now. This e the, uh, this E30 seen, seen quite a few times. Really really nice. I think this Fiesta's got got a K swap in it. Then we get to this section here. This Delano built DC5 I absolutely love. I saw this for the first time la last time. I don't think it was at, Cad at Cadwell. Absolutely gorgeous. And you got obviously this Evo in front. Nice 205. Next, next to the Delano built D, D, DC5, you've got the Tegawa, the Tegawa stand, or Tegawa pit, pit, should I say. A couple of K-Swap Clios, you've got the Seat, obviously the K-Swap, K-Swap Civic back, back there. Nice, nice Beamer, so I've got, got a couple, couple of shot, shots in the last video. Another Clio. Nice R35 G, uh, G, G, GTR. Which I believe is uh, Jack Malpas, I think, I think I think his name is. Really nice. We've got 205 that's been here a couple of times. Then you've got uh, Rusky Welds uh, Clio, which has obviously got a load, load of carbon Kevlar that he made all, all, all over the front, which is real cool. And I believe. Uh, that, 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 that was the guy that actually helped with the Gizfabs, uh, Micra, the one I've just shown you with all the carbon. Couple more Evos, Scirocco. Then we've got the BC Racing pit, which has got this awesome EF that I absolutely love. I assume the driver's from Canada, two to the license plate, but always like the, like the CF. Then obviously, this EK, this EK is just next level. Absolutely love, love the CK. Try and show you the engine if I can. Real oh, nice, B Series Turbo. Obviously the DC5. Real nice. Love seeing these cars, cars go round. And I believe it's uh, Sam, Sam Pickering's uh, Scooby. I follow this guy on YouTube. Hopefully it's not anything major that's going on. Really cool to be in the pits and sort of uh, in, uh, in the middle of all the action, basically. <laughs> then, uh, then you got the continuation, the BC racing stand. And you've got this Evo here. Don't think I've seen this one before. Mark, Mark 5 Golf. Sayat. And I think I'm Mark 6 Golf. Then we've got the two-door Scooby, I think either a P1 I think it is, or a Type, a type, type R, not, not too clued upon my Scoobies. Then this Evo that I've seen quite a few times now. This, I haven't seen this before. Don't even know what this is.
I think there's another uh, another interview going on. Here we've got the Norris Design Evo. An another say out back there. Another Evo. So I've been here about three, four hours already. I've not even looked at any track yet. All I've done is just been going around the pits, speaking to a couple of people, looking at some cars, obviously doing a bit of a different style of video today, with a bit of a pit walk and pit, pit, pit walk and talk, something like that. But yeah, I think we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the drift paddock shortly. So I'm walking back to the car because I've got a 10% battery on the phone and my uh, power pack is in the car. So I'm just going to walk back, um, had a chat with a couple of people, hopefully got a couple of cool, cool shots already, whether I do sort of cinematics or just include the audio. Uh, I've been doing something a little bit different, I, like, I'm not sure if you can tell. But I've got a, uh, a dead cat, dead, de a, dead, a dead cat microphone, so hopefully you can hear me a lot clearer, hopefully you can hear the cars clearer as well. Uh, so yeah, so I'm doing a lot of one-handed with the gimbal, one hand with the uh, with the microphone because if I put it on the gimbal, it makes the gimbal shake, which is the whole purpose of uh, a gimbal to have everything smooth. So yeah, that doesn't work. So I'm going to uh, get the phone charged up. I think I've seen most of the pits now. So uh, yeah, I think we'll get to start walking around 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 the track. See you in a minute. Got some nice EP3s there. Nice, nice cos cos cosmic grey. This one, this one's gone. has got a cage in. Nice S15 in the car park. Very nice. Got a bunch of cool MR2s there. And the next next to the MR2, a real nice 370. Very nice. Looks like a. Some Ray's Advan wheels, sitting very nice. That is very nice. Always, always had a thing for three, three fifties and three, three seventies. Nice MR twos. Car park's full, uh, pretty full now. But so yeah, like I was saying earlier, just going around the car park sometimes is pretty cool. Mazda. One day I'll get a camera and lens, lens like these. Absolute squad of cameramen. Lens got his own stand. Makes my little uh, phone lenses seem a little bit inadequate. We make do. We make do. The sun has now 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 come out. I hope you can hear me over the tannoy. Uh, yeah, it was a bit grey earlier. Warm, but grey. Uh, so the sun has definitely come out now. So uh, yeah, I've made. I've gone across. Uh, not sure what it's called, I can't remember. Knickerbock, Knicker, Knickerbrook, Knickerbocker Glory Bridge or something. So I've gone across that. But I feel like an absolute noob. Because I'm looking at the map. I haven't got a clue what corner I'm on. I've not got a clue what corner I'm on. So I know the drifting is next. And I think that starts on at, at the corner I'm on. I think so anyway. So I'm going to hang around here, see, 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 see what's around, around this side. Uh, and yeah, absolutely loving it as usual. Lo I lo absolutely love love these days. It's my type of events. I like car shows. Obviously, there's a car show involved, but I love track stuff. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, 
Yeah, I much, much, much prefer all the track stuff. Got about, about a chance to get run over. Car park check again. We've got a, uh, a nice Mazda here, an old Mazda. That I'm not too sure what uh, what model it is. We'll go have a look, I'll show you. Not too sure. Oh, it's an RX-7. No way. It must be a uh, Gen 1, maybe? Gen 1 RX-7? Oh, you can smell. You can smell it. It's got that classic, classic old car vibe. Real cool. Don't think I've ever seen one of them before. Scoobies are not usually my thing, but that's a nice uh, nice white Scooby. Sat on some Enkis, I think. PF09s or something, I think, I think they are. Then you've got the Hyundai uh, I, I, I30, which, you know, it's just a standard car. But these have got to be one of the best dailies out there, surely. You know, if you want a bit of bit of a bit of a punch for your daily, it's not like Audi money or anything like that. It's a nice uh, it's a nice daily, surely. Got a, ni a nice view of the track here. See that section where it goes around, then you can see all the cars as they come back around here. Then they go around that corner, and then back up the straight. Sorry that I don't know the names of the corners or the straights. Awesome circuit. I think I, and I think I found my car of the show. Real, real nice. Honda NSX. Some nice Advan wheels on it. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Real nice Vol Voltex ring on the back. Obviously, a lot of people keep NSXs stuck, but it's real nice to see them modified like this. That's just absolutely incredible. And then this whole line up here. I think this is probably my favourite lineup from 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 the show. Anyway, it's a real nice Supra, Starlet, and then I think Mar Martin Hodge. If this is you, shout out. Real nice coupe. Pretty sure that's yours. RX7. Absolutely incredible. R33. Then you've got this Evo, which the engine bay is just absolutely incredible. Carbon fibre wings, and an absolutely incredible engine bay. It's just absolutely immaculate. Real nice. Real nice S15. Going into a real nice R33 Skyline, GTS2, spec 1. Then you've got Sylvia here, which is kicking up a bit, bit of a fuss because it's got a uh, an, R, an RB in it, which is pretty cool. Another Sylvia there. You've got a uh, an Escort. Fords aren't really my thing, but this over here, this is a real nice example. Some nice carbon on it. Really, really nice. Like I say, foils aren't really my thing, but yeah, that's, that's really nice, that is. So like I say, I think this section here, this whole lineup, is probably my favourite lineup of the show. Obviously, it's a modified car show, so there's all sorts here. But, you know, I'm a Jap guy, so I absolutely love stuff like this. 
What an absolutely incredible R32. Love them with the duck with the duck duck bill spoilers like that. So nice. So the heat has definitely come now. I used to want, want, want one of these when I was growing up. Pretty much the same as this. Yeah, that's cool that is. I'd still have one now, to be fair. I'd still have one of them. Lowered like that with some camber. Surf, surf, surfboard on the top. That's cool as hell that is. So cool. <laughs>
Oh, side by side. Oh, side by side. 